The Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us of our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Children's Confession. Father God, I thank you for this day that you have made, and I will rejoice and be glad in it. I thank you for my family, my home, my pastors, my teachers, and my church. I thank you that I am a child that is proper and obedient. Because I have been trained in the way I should go, and when I grow up, I will not depart from it. Father God, I declare that I am quick to learn, quick to understand, and qualified to do whatever I am asked to do. Because I can do all things through Christ who helps me. Therefore, I am never afraid because I know that no weapon formed against me will prosper. I cancel the plan and the assignment that the devil has planned against me. Devil, if I tell you to go, you must go. So go, devil, in Jesus' name. I declare that God's kingdom will be done in my life now. I walk in good health, victory, and wholeness. I have the favor of God in my life, and I live a life of prosperity because I'm a rightly directed child. In Jesus' name, amen. Preschool ministry rules. I can do all things through Christ which strengthens me. Philippians 4.13 oh. Therefore, I will walk wherever I go, use my inside voice, keep my hands to myself and not harm anyone else. Speak kind words, listen to my teachers while they are talking, raise my hand to be recognized, and enjoy my learning experience. Hello to my incredible preschoolers and parents. I'm Miss Andrews and I'm so glad to be before you all with another monthly lesson. I am sure you all are having a great time. We have just gotten through Thanksgiving and I hope you all had a wonderful time celebrating Thanksgiving with your family and friends and showing more gratitude to those that you are around, those that you are able to love on, and also, most of all, showing gratitude to God, to Jesus, because he's the one that blessed you with everything that you need, want, and desire. We're well on our way in this fall season, and the next season to come up is winter. We know that we have four seasons of the year, spring, summer, fall, also known as autumn, and then winter. We have winter, which soon will be on December 21st, will be the start of winter season. Now, with us coming out of the month of November, the next month is what? I'm gonna give you a hint. It's the 12th month of the year. Can you all guess? Can one, someone take a guess on what the next month is? The last month of this year? Yes, December. December is the 12th month of the year and we celebrate Christmas in the month of December. So with that being said, I want everyone to get up, to get some space around you, and that way we can sing our months of the year song, all right? Let's go. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Awesome job, awesome job, awesome job. Give yourself a pat on the back, a round of applause for you knowing your months of the year. You learn it, repeating it, um, going about it, doing this repetition. So when you practice something, you put forth that good practice into learning something, then you get better at it, right? You get better. So now we made it all the way from January to December with learning our months of the year song. All right, good job. Awesome, awesome. So now that we're in another month, the month of December, that means we have a new focus and a new scripture. Now the focus of this month is the birth of Jesus and our scripture of the month is Isaiah chapter nine, verse six, and it reads, For a child, is born to us a son is given 
us, to us. The, government the government will rest, will rest on, his on his shoulders, shoulders. And, he and he will be called, will be called wonderful, wonderful counselor, counselor mighty, mighty God, God everlasting, everlasting father Father, Prince, Prince of Peace, of peace. Isaiah, Isaiah 9, 6. 9, 6. Thumbs up. It's a belief that during the holidays, during this winter season, Christmas holiday, that it's all about gifts. It's all about the gifts that you get, that you receive. Well, we know sharing is caring. However, with Christmas, we celebrate the birth of Jesus. It's a big birthday celebration for him. And that's the reason why we celebrate Christmas. He's the focus of this holiday season and why we celebrate Christmas. He's the true Messiah. He's the true star. And he's the king of Bethlehem. And he's the reason why we celebrate Christmas. Now, let's take a look into the Bible and let's talk about the true star, Jesus. Now, there was an angel. He approached Mary about her having a baby. And she questioned it, wondering, you know, she said, why? How? How will I have a baby when I'm not even married yet? And he said that she would have a baby, that the Holy Spirit would come upon her, and she would birth forth the king, Jesus, which he will be the king of Bethlehem. So Mary was engaged to Joseph. They would soon get married. Um, but she told him about the angel Gabriel coming to her and letting her know that she would be the one to birth Jesus. Now, he wasn't sure. He, he didn't hear this news either. Um, so there was an angel that came upon him that went to him and told him the same news. Told him that Mary would birth Jesus and um, that he was the son of God and that they would name him Jesus. And this was definite for sure that she was not lying, that she wasn't telling him the untruth. Um, so he was approached by this angel and he believed along with her that he would, um, she would birth for Jesus and Jesus would be the king of Bethlehem. So many months had passed and they traveled to Bethlehem, which was the hometown that Joseph was from. So it was time for Mary to have a baby. Typically a woman is pregnant for nine months so they've been traveling for a long time. When they got to Bethlehem, it was time for her to give birth to Jesus. Now, they were trying to look for a place to stay. They were trying to look for different places, look for different hotels to stay in. But every place was taken up, was occupied by someone else staying there. So they couldn't stay in those places. So they actually found this stable to, um, to live in for that night, to stay for that night. And Mary end up having her baby in this stall, in this stable, and excuse me, Jesus was born in a manger, and when he was born, they placed him on a sack of hay. And it, I'm sure it wasn't the most comfortable, um, it wasn't the most comfortable position for them to be in because they had animals all around them, they had goats, horses, cows, chickens running around, but this was the only place they could um, be for Mary to have her baby. So they named the baby Jesus. Now, that night, there was an angel that went to some shepherds that was on a hill. They went to these shepherds and told them that it was good news that Jesus was born. They told them the good news and they said that the Savior was born and that he was born in Bethlehem in a manger. And so there were many angels that appeared. All of a sudden, there were so many angels that filled the sky that appeared to these shepherds. So when all these angels left, um, the shepherds went to Bethlehem and they wanted to see Jesus for himself. So they went to go see Jesus, Mary and Joseph, and they were so excited, so excited that Jesus was born, that he was a savior, he was born, he was the king of Bethlehem. And so because of all the excitement, they didn't want to contain them. They didn't want to keep all this good news to themselves. They went out and told everyone in the city about this good news of Jesus, our Savior, being born. He's the true king of Bethlehem, and they were so excited, so excited 
I'm so thankful to God of what he had done and the angels um, that, that had appeared and told of this good news to Joseph and to Mary. So they were able to see Jesus and they were so excited that they told everyone about it. They were not ashamed to tell Jesus, tell everyone about Jesus being the savior of Bethlehem. Well, let's thank God for this message on talking about the birth of Jesus and how it allowed us to live, to have this abundant life and to know that he is our savior, that he is the true reason for the season, the true reason why we celebrate Christmas. Now, if there's anyone that is tuned in with us today that's not saved and haven't given their life to Christ, I want you to repeat this prayer of salvation with me. And when you repeat this, it's you saying that you know that God, he died on the cross for our sins and that he rose again. After three days, he rose again. And now you're able to have this amazing life, this abundant life, everything that you need, want, desire, and God, that Jesus provides it for you, and you're able to have a relationship with him. I want you to repeat this prayer of salvation with me. Lord God, I am a sinner. I know in my heart, and I believe that you sent Jesus to die on the cross, and he rose again for my sins. Lord God, I accept you into my heart and into my life. And now, I am saved, amen. Awesome, awesome, awesome. You are now a child of God and you can go tell other people about how he has saved you. Now, before we end, I want us to close out in prayer. So everyone bow your heads, close your eyes, put your hands together, let's get in the posture of prayer. Lord God, we come to you thanking for you. We thank you for Jesus. We thank you, Lord God, that you um, allow him to be the Savior, our Savior, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, that you allow Mary and Joseph to be the parents of Jesus, Lord God. And we thank you, Lord God, that he is the true star, he is the true Messiah, he is the king, Lord God, and he rule and reign in our life, in our body, in our mind, in our spirit, Lord God. Um, we thank you, Lord God, for him, and we thank you, Lord God, that we're able to have a relationship with Jesus. We have the Holy Spirit that dwells in us, and we thank you, Lord God, for the relationship that we have with Jesus. We thank you for the love that we're able to give Jesus and the love that he gives us unconditionally, Lord God. Lord God. Um, we thank you, Lord God, for this message. We thank you, Lord God, for every preschooler, for every parent, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, that you continue to bless them, that you continue to bless them this holiday season, um, this Christmas, Lord God. And we thank you, Lord God, that you are the true reason why we celebrate this season. You're the true reason for Christmas. And we thank you, Lord God, for who you are, for how awesome you are, how great you are. We love you. In your name, we have just prayed. Amen, amen, amen. Where you all, I thank you for tuning in for another monthly lesson. You all continue to stay tuned for some great happenings with our children's ministry. I love you all, and I'll see you later. Hey, preschoolers. I have a question for you. Do you know what the Holy Spirit is? No? Well, let's see. Have you ever had an imaginary friend? Yeah, someone that you can talk to and uh, play with, but nobody else around them can see right? Guess what? It's kind of like that, but only he's very real. That's right. God's voice, that still small voice, that tug in your heart, right? When you feel really good, or even that feeling when you know you've done something that you shouldn't have done. That's God speaking to your heart. And that's called the Holy Spirit. And we want to make certain that you invite him into your heart every day day of your life, even right now, being five, six years old, you can have the Holy Spirit leading and guiding you every day of your life. So let's pray together and ask for God's Spirit, His Holy Spirit, to love on you and to get into your heart, okay? Let's get in a posture of prayer. Father God, right now, we thank you for your Holy Spirit. Thank you, dear Heavenly Father, that your spirit leads us and guides us. Right now, whatever, whatever preschooler is watching, Lord God, we just ask that your spirit overwhelm them with love, Lord God. Speak through their hearts, Lord God, and let them know that they are loved. In Jesus' name, amen. So, if you hear the Holy Spirit tugging on your heart, feeling, feeling your heart with love, go with it, okay? All right, guys. 
Have a great day. Hello everyone, it's Miss Candice. And Logan. And we're going to be giving you our scripture for the month of December. And it's coming from Isaiah 9 and 6. Right. And Logan is going to repeat after me. A child is born to us. A child is born to us. A son is given to us. A son is given to us. And he will be. And he will be. Our ruler. Our ruler. He will be called. He will be called. Wonderful counselor. Wonderful counselor. Mighty God. Mighty God. Eternal Father. Eternal Father. Prince of Peace. Prince of Peace. Hello families, please make note of this 2023 holiday schedule at Right Direction Christian Center of all the festive events coming up. Preschool Lives are now available every first Sunday and every Wednesday. Join us for a special preschool Bible lesson and more. Are you great working with children? Join the preschool ministry by visiting rdci.info to complete a volunteer application and join our team. Be sure to subscribe to Kidstown YouTube channel where you can catch children's ministry and preschool weekly.